Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, we really hope you enjoyed that uh, Losi LMT uh, Grave Digger Monster Jam movie. Um, kids had a really good time. They set it all up. It was their idea. Um, they set up the track, all that stuff. It was like they wanted. They played it all out. And I thought it was really cool. Now, we've got some serious maintenance to do after that. They destroyed this thing. Um, you know, we'll get to it, but you know, a little bit of rainy day maintenance right now too. I was the only reason I found it. I was going to do a couple little upgrades that I want to that I'm going to share in this video too. But uh, let's go see the carnage. Man, I don't know if you've seen this grave digger ice body up close, but it is sweet. I mean, they scratched it up already, but it's pretty awesome. Um, so Proline came out with uh, two bodies, the Gravedigger Ice and the Gravedigger Fire versions. Um, this is actually, you know, our son of a digger. Um, but we got the, the ice body because, hey, you know, we got the blue wheels. Can swap them back and forth. I bought a different cage and um, made it so I can pop them on and off really fast and just swap them back and forth because they love Gra Gravedigger. Son of a digger is my favorite. Um, but, man, so I was like, hey, you know, we wanted to do um, – this is a Crawford Performance um, upgrade for in between the upper um, suspension links. So we'll go here. So if you look, no, I just knocked a whole bunch of other stuff over. But if you look, and I don't know if I can get to it, these upper links, so the, the main upper suspension links, they have just a bolt and a nylock nut holding them on. And I don't know if you can see it there under just above that S that's a nylock nut. So, um, there's a lot of play. There's a lot of movement side to side with the arms. So instead of just having a bolt go through with a nylock nut on the other side and kind of holding it together, these go through the whole frame and the bolts screw into them from side to side. And it's a nice firm, um, you know, it's a whole, uh, it's basically like, you know, having another structure piece in between the chassis to keep it nice and steady. So, um, I've had those nuts come loose. The arms always, you know, pop off of there and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, finally want to do it. So I got a set is usually two, but I ordered two sets cause we have the grave digger and the grave digger ice. So we're, there's one in the front and one, one in the rear. So we're going to do that upgrade, right? Super nice. And then uh, one of the things I was noticing too is I like the steering angle um, on the Gravedigger um, with this Losi um, 25 tooth steering, um, steering arm for the uh, servo arm. This is a standard ProTec, you know, just straight. Doesn't have any angle. Um, and I like it. It works good. But I just like how this is going to kick it out just a little bit. Just put the little less angle on on the steering. So um, we're gonna do that upgrade too. But man, let's check out what actually happened here. So I was getting ready to go do some of that stuff, and uh, I noticed. Oh, let me get this body open. If you look at this shock, upper shock cap, it is. It is super cracked and split. I mean, you can see it right there. It snapped that thing, just cracked it in almost in half. And it's not holding on by very much. So um, there's oil everywhere. I was like, man, why is there why is there oil all over the tire? What's all that? You know, and look down. It's all nice and shiny down there. There's oil all over the shock. Oil on the servo on this side, the whole axle, because that shock is done skis, or that shock cap is done. So, went, man, so ordered up a new shock cap, um, ordered up uh, some of the TLR um, lower O-rings, because the stock O-rings are known for, they kind of stick, you know, if it's been sitting for a little bit, they're, they're a little bit tight on the shaft and all that other stuff, and they caused some of the, the other leaks and all this other stuff. So we are going to replace that shock cap 
we we're going to rebuild all four shocks um, with the TLR um, O-rings. And then I'm probably going to do the TLR O-rings on the uh, Gravedigger too. Then we're also going to do the this upgrade along with the, the steering. So we'll, we'll get to that. We'll show you all there. But man, these boys, that Masha Jam show left some carnage. All right, well, we're back. Well, man, we got the shock off. And you can see that the, um, the top mount is bent, right? But it is thoroughly cracked right there. I mean, you can see it's cracked through there, bent. And this thing is just, there's just oil everywhere, right? It all just came out of it. Um, you can see it all over the rag. You can see all the oil all over there. It's just wet everywhere. So we're going to clean it up. We'll clean it up. We're going to rebuild the shock. Like I said, I'm changing that uh, um, servo arm. So I figured, hey, that's a quick fix. I'm going to take, that's the ProTech one. Pretty simple, standard one. Um, 25 tooth. So we're going to, I have another project I think I'm going to use this on. I got a bunch of different aluminum yeah, servo arms too. So. You found your sweatshirt in it? Awesome. So um, I did get a standard rebuild kit just to have, you know, some spare parts. I like having these, uh, you know, the um, the bumpers, basically, it's like a bump stop, you know. Um, all right, the only way you can get the cap is you got to buy a shock body and cap set. It's a pair. Um, figure that way I have a couple spares. Got a spare body, have another spare, spare cap. Um, and then these, this is what I'm going to change it to because, um, the, the O-rings that are in the lower or the lower seal, they tend, they're really tight. And what happens is they lock up a little bit. Um, so, um, you go to the TLR ones and this is, this will do four shocks. Um, so I got two sets, one for grave digger, one for son of a digger. So we're going to rebuild these all, um, today too, since I'm here and then, they normally come with 25 weight. We're going to go to 30 just to give it a little bit uh, more more dampening. Um, so I think that'll be good. And then uh, we're going to get this all together. And uh, we'll get a little video of how, uh, how it comes back together and how it runs. Um, we might be going out to the track here pretty soon. So maybe we can take it out there. And they got a little rock crawler set up. Maybe we can take it over there and check it out. All right. Here we go. I might, I might show you a little... Um, install of like maybe the seal or something so let's see all right we're back and we've got these shocks all done hey you know i was thinking about showing you guys you know tearing them apart and stuff like that but that's kind of boring um there's a lot of lmt shock videos but what i will say is man um they are way smoother so if you look here there are these seals right there's two of them per shock so and they're in the bottom right here so like when you pull that cap off, there's a seal, then there's this plastic spacer, and then there's another seal. So in order to change them out, you gotta pull the, the end link off here so that you can get the shaft out and then pull everything apart. Um, I replaced like the, there's an O-ring right here too for this cap uh, to seal it. So I replaced that O-ring, replaced those seals, put new fluid in them, bled them, got it all out so that's all the leftover stuff i had one cap kind of i screwed up um it was actually the one in here i was going to pull it out and reuse it but you know i had that whole rebuild kit um dash is out there beating on blood basher <laughs> but i thought i'd show you this a little bit better see if i can get a oh see if i can get a little more up close he got flipped and, and did a flip play. he what and when, he, he, <clears throat> he got scraped and did a flip and landed it. He did a front flip and landed it? Yeah. Oh, we gotta we gotta get out there and check some of this out. But look. Like, let's see if I can. There you go. So I mean it just it cracked through where like the uh where that bleeder screw is and just snapped it. So we took a the boys did a good number on that. So um Got a new, uh, got a new cap on there. Reuse the same body. Everything else was good. Uh, cleaned everything up really good. Um, I got the new, um, 
servo arm on there. I really do like, I, it just kicks it out just a little bit. Instead of being straight, it kicks it out. Just puts the, the steering arm at a little bit better angle, I feel like. Um, so we'll let the Loctite dry on that stuff. And then we're gonna hopefully go out to, uh, we're gonna take the nitro car out. So we're probably gonna take this thing too. I wanna actually maybe use it on their little rock crawling course. They have an outdoor one, small, short. It might be fun. Glasses literally stuck in the buses. Okay. Should we go get them? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, everybody. Appreciate it. Let's go see how this uh, thing does, how this new monster truck does with the uh, shop sh TLR shock upgrade. Man, check out this awesome Grave Digger ice. I love this body. It's so cool. The boys love it. Man, these shocks, they are awesome. We're going to give you a little, uh, little video today of a uh, little test on these things. So just to give you a little uh, background too, we're back to the Protec servo arm because I took it out. I wasn't videoing it. just wanted to see how the shocks did. And uh, we bent that servo arm. So I'm going to go back to the Protec for now. I've got that servo arm on a couple other cars and never had a problem. So let's see how it does. So smooth. It just lands so smooth with these things. It's way more predictable. <laughs> We're uh, kind of going in a tight spot here today. Wumbo Wumbo. <laughs> Man, uh, for sure. It just really, really is so much more predictable. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a backflip today. Yeah, and look how it just plants and lands good. Now, if you notice, it has a little bit of rebound into it, you know, um, and I did that by going with, uh, I, when you do the shock upgrade, you don't have, you can either set it up as an emulsion or you can set it up with the, uh, the bladder cap. Uh, I kept the bladder caps in there because I feel like the, the uh, rebounds a little bit faster, which I like, and I feel like it makes it a little more scale um, to how they drive. And, so if you're doing stunts and stuff, I would leave the bladder caps in there and go for it. Uh, if you're gonna race it, and you're gonna do like a full racing setup, I would probably set them up as an emotion setup. And, uh, but I don't think you can go wrong either way because it's, it's super smooth. I mean, it just, the shocks just react so much faster. So uh, let's see. Oh, that was almost a double backflip. So good. Can we do it with the ramp a little bit different? Oh! <laughs> yeah. What? Man, I hope you liked that. We had to cut it a little bit short. Uh, we had a little bit of emergency. All of a sudden, like, Sophia was yelling at me, Dad, Dad, come. I had to go get uh, Gage a few stitches. So uh, one of the ding-dongs was riding his bike and uh, going to report he's okay though. And uh, he's a tough, he's a tough guy. So had to get him some stitches, but I hope you really enjoy the video. Um, I hope it helps um, using the TLR kit for the shocks. Huge, huge. I need to go do the other uh, LMT that we have. I mean, it is night and day. The shocks react so much faster, way more predictable. Um, you can set them up as a motion or a bleeder cap style. Um, I like the bleeder caps, you know, for, you know, more of the stunts and, and all that stuff and doing that, you know, 
making it a little more scale. If you were going to race it all the time, I'd probably set them up as a motion and um, be able to uh, change things around a little bit. I'm thinking about adding, uh, so we went with 30 weight this time. Um, I might try 40 weight in the other grave digger and see what it does. I'm curious if uh, this thing does really well. I don't know. I, I'm kind of, maybe hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. Should I uh, should I try the other grave digger with uh, a little bit heavier weight oil? See what you think. I don't know. It plants so well. I mean, it lands the backflips and just sticks it. Um, unless you over rotate it, but, um, man, I love these LMTs. They are so much fun. The boys love them. Um, they take a pretty good beating and, um, you know, a few little things here will break, you know, Hey, every RC is going to break if you really beat it up hard, but they are a lot of fun to do the fun little stunts. Um, they're quick. You can go bash them, you know, pretty good. You don't want to like huck them way high off a jump. They're not meant for that. Um, you can if you want to. Um, I'm not going to because it's not really my thing for that. But, um, you know, hey, we appreciate all the support. Um, give me some comments of what you think. Uh, tell me what you like, don't like. And, um, you know, hey, should we go to a different weight oil on the next one? And I can uh, try that out and set up a video for that too. So, um, you know, tell us what you uh, tell us what you think. Love, I love responding to the comments. I love seeing everything. So, um We'll catch you on the next one.